legend that defined a generation of supercars. In the summer of 1987, Ferrari stunned the automotive world with a machine unlike anything anyone had ever seen, the Ferrari F40. It was a car built not just for the road, but for the realm of dreams, designed to thrill, intimidate, and captivate all who dared to drive it. The F40 was more than just a supercar, it was a declaration, a boundary pusher, and the last car blessed by the legendary Enzo Ferrari himself. This car would go on to shape the imagination of car enthusiasts for generations, forever leaving its mark as a symbol of raw power, rebellion, and uncompromising speed. The Vision of a Legend Ferrari was reaching a significant milestone, its 40th anniversary. To celebrate, Enzo Ferrari wanted to build a car that would encapsulate everything Ferrari stood for, racing spirit, extreme performance, and engineering mastery. The F40, it was decided, would be a no-holds-barred expression of the Ferrari ethos, unlike anything the world had seen before. Unbeknownst to the world, it would also be Enzo Ferrari's swan song, the last car he personally approved before passing away in 1988. What emerged from the design and engineering rooms of Ferrari's Maranello headquarters was revolutionary. In contrast to the era's trend toward electronic assistance and comfort, the F40 was a raw and unfiltered driving machine. With its 2.9-liter twin-turbocharged V8, the F40 had power on tap, 478 horsepower, to be exact, an astonishing figure for the time. But beyond the numbers, the car felt like a racing machine brought to the road. It had no power steering, no anti-lock brakes, no electronic safety nets. For the driver, this meant that every curve, every shift, and every bit of throttle was felt fully, making the F40 as thrilling as it was demanding. Stripped down to the essence. Inside the F40, you wouldn't find luxury, only essentials. There were no carpets, no soundproofing, and just the basics in terms of seating and controls. Every aspect of the car's design served a purpose, stripping away weight to boost speed and responsiveness. Carbon fiber and Kevlar were used throughout its body, a first in road cars, making it extraordinarily light and nimble, at just over 1,100 kilograms, about 2,400 pounds. And its looks? With its wide stance, low profile, and that iconic rear wing, the F40 looked like it was in motion even when it was standing still. The F40's aesthetics were purposeful, guided by aerodynamics. Massive air intakes, knock ducts and a large rear wing weren't added just for flash, they were designed to keep the car glued to the road at high speeds. The F40 was born to perform at the very edge of physics, where most drivers would fear to tread. The world's first 200 MPH road car. When it was unveiled, the F40 claimed a milestone that cemented its status as a performance icon, it was the first production car to break the 200 mph barrier. In an era when most cars struggled to approach 150 mph, the F40's official top speed of 201 mph was jaw-dropping. It became the fastest production car in the world, a title that added a mythical allure to its name. To drive the F40 at such speeds, however, was a test of skill, courage, and respect for the car's immense power and lack of modern safety aids. Yet for those who had the skill, the F40 was transformative. It offered an experience of pure driving, unfiltered by electronic systems. Everything was direct, the steering was heavy, the clutch was unforgiving, and the turbocharged V8 lagged before exploding with power, demanding every ounce of attention and precision from the driver. In this machine, driving was no longer passive, it was a daring adventure. From dream to cultural icon. The Ferrari F40 quickly became the car that every enthusiast dreamed of. It graced the covers of magazines, posters on bedroom walls, and appeared in countless video games and movies. Its rebellious design, raw performance, and exclusive nature made it more than just a car, it was a legend. Ferrari initially planned to make just 400 units, but due to overwhelming demand, they eventually produced around 1,315. Despite this increase, the F40's allure never faded, it was still rare enough to remain a cherished prize among collectors and remains one of the most desirable Ferraris ever made. The legend lives on. More than 30 years later, the F40 remains a benchmark in automotive history. It continues to captivate collectors and enthusiasts alike, its value steadily appreciating as time passes. Car lovers of all ages recognize the F40's iconic design, hearing stories of its ferocity on the road and imagining what it must feel like to command a car so untamed. 
The F-40 represents a rare moment when a company reached for its highest ideals and succeeded. It defied convention, prioritizing raw performance over comfort, breaking records, and cementing Ferrari's legacy as a maker of pure, powerful driving machines. It was, and still is, a car that speaks to the soul of every automotive enthusiast, a car that challenges the limits of speed, skill, and bravery. In the Ferrari F40, the spirit of Enzo Ferrari lives on, roaring down highways, carving through corners, and forever reminding the world what a supercar should be. It is, and always will be, a legend on wheels.